Welcome in all my village duck friends who are laying down drills with me at Granny and Ellie's cozy country cottage. Today is Memorial Day, Monday, May 27th, 2024. The time is 7.28 a.m. here in sunny Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my adventure on what we nickname Granny's Cottage. And there is the picture of it. And I am actually working my way up this way. So I'm right here in the trees and then it'll be the sky. So this has <clears throat> 36 colors. And it is a 70 by 40 centimeters, is that right? Yep, that's correct, Amundo. So um, let me just move this up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, let me see if I can move the camera down. That is what I've completed. So I got just about got that well done. Moving right along. So I got this huge section <laughs> that I'm going to be uh, laying down drills on. Okay, so before we get started on all of that information, I have a lot to talk about. I'm having diamonds by Tita squirrel thoughts. <laughs> they passed on to me. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to think of something original for my thoughts. Um, maybe I'm having senior moments. <laughs> okay. Um, so beside me, I have my caffeinated breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer. And as always, we're going to get our box down of candle wax, which I was gifted from Rebecca. The gift that keeps on giving. Our box is getting smaller and smaller. Let's see. Let's pick, some, let's pick this one. This is a bright color. Let's see what it is. All right. So today we have, oh, yes. Coffee apple spice. This is from Flaming Star Scents. Oh boy, let's see what this, and we got two wax melts, yummy. Oh my God, oh no, it's one. I thought it was two. Oh, I have to destroy this. It's a little puppy. Oh no. Oh my goodness, you guys, this one, Oh, it smells so good, but I'm going to have to use it, and I don't want to. It is so cute. Look at the little whip and tail, little feet. God, that is adorable. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh no. <laughs> I, I can't do this today. I'm sorry. I can't destroy it today. We're going to pick another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, can't do this one today. Sorry. Let's pick another one. Okay, here we go. We'll do this one at the end. <laughs> oh my gosh. That one's going to be a hard one. I'll put it back in the box. Alright. This one is 
It's a mystery. And we got two different colors. So we'll just pick out the first one. And this is what it looks like. Um, hmm. We'll do the other one tomorrow. So I'll just put that aside. I think this is probably going to be small enough for me to uh, do one. Here we go. It smells. I'm not very good at scents. I can't figure out what it is. So I'm putting it under the lamp. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Um, and I think we have one email today. I was in trying to figure out my emails and trying to. Um, yeah, go through them. Heidi, she says, Hello, Granny. I don't use Facebook, so I have not shared them on Tita's page, but I am at my partner's house. Oh, when I am at my partner's house, I work on small projects because I usually only see him once a week. Here are some cards I have been working on. They are from Timo, and I got them half off. Okay, here we go. Oh, my, my. That is beautiful. Look at those special drills. I have never done cards before. Ooh, look at that one. And as always, I've got shadows. Let me turn off this light. I know that always makes it worse probably, but okay. see my camera up there. Oh, ooh, that is colorful. Ooh, look at that one. Look at those yellows. You know, these special drills here really I love those. They really add to the um, special drill. Same with these, those teardrops <gasps> and those big blue ones. <gasps> Are those? Look at those. Wow. Oh man, I love those. Oh, wow. You know, um, if you want, I can ask Tita. I think I could forward these to her and maybe she could put them on her page for you. I don't know if that's possible and I don't want to do it without your permission, but wow. Oh, wow. Those are really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. I think that's the only one we have today. <clears throat> and I didn't get back to my emails till this morning. And Patricia, you were on it. She replied back to me. Um about her rooster that she did. And she says, thanks much. It was fun and it was a small one that I did in between the larger ones. 
I've changed my tactics and working two at a time with doing a small one for three days and then a larger one for three days. Have a blessed day for you and Ellie. Yeah, and let me just show you this rooster that she did. I just think that is just so cute. Yeah, so. You guys so inspire me. Some of you are super duper fast and whoo, put me to shame. Alrighty. Um, next up, I got to turn my light back on. There we go. Okay, let's see. What kind of inspirational thing do I want to do for myself today? You know what? And I'll explain this in a minute. But here is what my thought is today. I like this. The true measure of a person is how they treat someone who can do him absolutely no good. And that's from Samuel Johnson. Okay, and here in a minute, I will explain that. So, let's see what we want to do here. Turn on our light. Maneuver this around just a tad for me. And, of course, then we got to move the camera. Uh, sorry. Come on. Hopefully that stays. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Ah, copy. Alrighty. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about. Well, let's let's find some drills. What do I? I you know I think I'm going to do these dots because they stand out to me. I'm in a new section and I need something that stands out. Okay, that is 19. And actually, do I want to move this over there? All right. So we got our 19 out, which is 934. Black avocado green. All right, so, oh, you know, I have quite a few, so I think I'm going to use my big tray. And I don't have a big tray out. There we go. So, and of course, I start getting the snotty nose. Um, so, first thing I want to talk about is this painting. Now, I've only done that one square, but what I have found out, this is one of those canvases that How do I explain this? Okay, in this section, see how dull it looks? And when you put down the drills, as you could see in this bottom part that I showed, it comes alive right before your eyes. It fools you. And that is what I have talked about before with some of these canvases and my camera's not going to stay there so let me bring this up 
that it may look like, ugh, you know, this is not going to turn out. And then you start putting down the drills and wowzers. It just, boom, comes alive before you. This is what this canvas is doing for me. These are just my thoughts, okay? You may have other thoughts. And we all have different thoughts, right? Right. Okay, so... Another thing I found out about this canvas, and I don't know if I'll be able to explain this correctly or the best I can, but what I found out is that, I'm going to give you an example, but this does not really show it at all, but Say you're laying down drills. So I got to put on some hand lotion again. Um, what I found out is that I can't remember which color it was or colors because there's multiples. But like, say you're doing this that I'm doing, these circles, and it's a black dot with a white circle around it but say they were up here it would show blue instead of the white and so it changes what you think it's supposed to be it confused me a little bit um it's like why is this one green here and blue over here and another color over here yeah they fool you and that is to me, kind of a mystery to all of this. It's just, I love canvases that are like this. Just love them. Um, the other thing on this canvas, um, and I'm just saying this in case you want to do this canvas, and um, just a couple things to look out for. Um, we've all had these canvases where our symbols are similar and on this one you have an O but then you go down um, number one you've got the dot so you've got to make sure that you're doing the right one but you've got another one where to go here number four it's got a line through it and because they change the background color sometimes, you really got to watch out for that. Um, the other one, I messed up on this. Yeah, so I was going to do the fours. And you see it's a round circle with a line through it. Which means don't do this, which I should have heeded that advice. Because I started laying down the fours which is 35 so I got to keep that in my mind you know don't be doing that <clears throat> um the other symbol that I've just about goofed on but didn't is this symbol right here sorry I'm not doing this very well All right, see this symbol right here? And then you also have this one. So you got to kind of watch out for that. So you got this one and this one. Um, was there anything else? think um yeah and it's weird because the eight is eight the five is nine the seven is eleven the six is thirty two and the four is thirty five so yeah you really have to watch you know concentrate on that um sometimes when because I watch whipping chats while I'm diamond painting and you know sometimes you kind of get engrossed in what they're saying and 
Yeah, I lose my concentration. So hopefully I didn't goof up down below. And everything is hunky-dory. All right, so we're 20 minutes into this and I haven't even laid down a drill. All righty. So I laid down a drill. So uh, talking of listening to whipping chats, I am so far behind. So today I am hopefully going to get caught up on Bella and Linda, her life and mine. So she has a lot of once I uh, I'm I'm actually well hang on a second let me look here all right she has posted a lot in the last few days so I am on the one from two days ago and then she's got a completion which is really short and another short one, two short ones, because it appears that something's going on with their weather. So I guess I should watch those first and see what's going on. Um, so yeah, so it's a Miss Linda day today. I got to see what's going on with her. And I am behind in the horse guards. Yeah. So here's my exciting news. Well, I guess it's kind of exciting. So you know that. Okay, here's the background story. Um, my son bought a brand new car because he thought. The engine was blown in his car. Well, it was. Um, and, you know, it cost tons of money to repair it. So, he decided rather than put a lot of money into it, because it's a 2015, he would just buy a new car. So he bought a new car and two days later he found out that there was a recall on his old car of the engine. And so <laughs> he took it into the shop and they put a brand new engine in. Yeah. So, but by then he had fallen in love with his new car. He really, really likes it. And so, um, anyway, his car was in the shop a couple weeks, and while well, they did, a, or I don't know how long it was in the shop, to tell you the truth, but anyway. Um, so then he decided, you know, okay, I'm going to sell it, you know, and it's got a brand new engine in it, and it should sell, you know, and he could recoup some of his money for um, his new car. And he could just put that money towards his new car. So he completely detailed it out. And I mean, it was looking like a brand new car when he was done. He is a fanatic when it comes to cleaning and all that. He really has an eye for detail and getting into every nook and cranny. So, he listed it, and all of a sudden, when he listed his car, when he listed it, there was maybe one or two that were similar to his um, and whatnot, but the price of the cars were a lot lower than his, and they had uh, more mileage because his has low, very low mileage on it. 
and he kept dropping the price, dropping the price, and no interest in it, because then, all of a sudden, all these other cars started popping up, and... Um, uh, anyway, to make a long story short, without all the details, he came over and he goes, you know, Mom, I'm just not going to sell my car for next to nothing because it's worth what I'm asking for it. And he said, I just don't get it. Why all of a sudden all these cars, since I listed mine, are coming on the market, people selling them for a lot cheaper. And he said, he said, you have an older car. And he said, I know you don't drive much, but I mean, my car's got a brand new engine. It's got the low mileage. Um, it's got a lot of cool features that your old car doesn't have. He said, I'm giving you my car. And he said, and then he says, what I'll do is detail your car out and sell it. And I said, so I couldn't believe it. That was on Mother's Day or the day before Mother's Day. And... I tried to talk him out of it, but he said no. And, you know, he really likes his old car. And, you know, he likes his new one, but he said, you know, if the engine hadn't blown, he would still be driving it. Um, and it did have some features that the new car doesn't have, but nothing that's real big. So, anyway, I couldn't talk him out of it. Now, my car is a 2006. So, yeah, it's, and um, I just don't get rid of my cars. I just drive them until something happens. See, I had my Taurus. Uh, my Taurus, I bought brand new. And what was it, a 97 Ford Taurus, I think? I can't remember, 96? I can't remember. But I was commuting, you know, 50 miles one way to work every day. And um, I really, really liked my Taurus. Um, and I didn't really have any big issues with it but I really really liked it but anyway so then I retired in 2012 so I didn't have that commute anymore well then my son and daughter-in-law they had bought the Pontiac Vibe they had a smaller car and um, then they bought the Vibe because, you know, now they had two kids and car seats, you know. So they bought the Vibe, which was still a smaller car, but it was um, good at the time when they bought it, um, you know, because the kids were little. And then they had the car, I don't know how long they had it, but anyway, then... <laughs> Their two little boys started growing <laughs> and there wasn't enough room for everybody. So they went, wanted to buy a bigger car and, but the dealership was lowballing them on the vibe. And I mean, it's a long story. So I said, well, you know, I really need a smaller car. I'm not commuting anymore. Um, so I'll just sell my Taurus and I'll buy the Vibe from you. That's, and I don't remember what year that was, but anyway, um,
my Taurus had over 300,000 miles on it. And anyway, I sold it for practically a giveaway price, but you know, it has a lot of miles on it. Um, and it did start, you know, nickel and diamond me. And uh, so anyway, I got the vibe. So I have been driving that vibe for, you know, since then. I think that was, gosh, I don't remember. What year that was. I'd have to go back through my Facebook memories. But anyway, um, so the vibe actually has the same mileage as David's old car, <laughs> which is about, I think, I don't know, 105,000 miles on it, which is, you know, low mileage for that car. Mine's the 2006, this is the 2015. Um, my car is, it doesn't really have any dings or anything on it. Um, not in an accident or anything. But with Ellie, it the seats in the front aren't the best. But anyway. Uh, so my son went out and he detailed that baby. I mean, it looks like a new car on the inside. He shampooed it. He detailed it out. Got all the dog hair out and, you know, all that stuff. And we took the seats out, washed them, everything. So he finished that up. Saturday, I think it was. And he says, Mom, I am really too tired to, uh, you know, deal with this tonight. I'll put it for sale on Sunday. Well, I think I told you this. Sunday morning, he came over and he said that he listed the car Saturday night. And within 20 minutes, he had four hits on it. And one guy came out and looked at it, did a little tiny test drive, and it was just what he wanted. Um, but he was on his motorcycle, and he said, um, he was gonna have to get a ride from somebody and he would come after work Sunday night. Well, my son didn't take a down payment or, you know, anything. They just shook on it. And I thought, oh, bad idea. And he said he took the ad down. And I said, oh, you know, wonder if this guy does not come back. Well, the guy sent my son a message and said he would, he talked to his mechanic and the mechanic said, you need to take the car on a test drive for about a half an hour, go up some hills and, you know, and whatnot. See if the car overheats, um, you know, all this stuff. So. My son said, fine, if you want to take it out. He said, there's nothing wrong with the car. Um, he said, you know, but keep in mind, my mom does not go anywhere. And she only does in-town driving. So, anyway, he, sh um, my son was, when he told me what he was asking for it, I thought, oh my goodness gracious, you'll never get that much out of it. <laughs> but I still live, you know, back in the olden days where used cars didn't cost that much. So, anyway, the guy had done his research on cars 
and he wanted this particular car and I guess he's been looking for a while um, and the reason is number one he has two big dogs and number two he does a little bit of temp camping and my car had all the features for that especially for his dogs because it is a good dog vehicle so anyway the guy showed up and the person who gave him a ride I thought well you know he's going to test drive it you know this ride is going to stay here and wait in case he didn't want it and uh, but the guy took off so my son and him went out drove around in the West Salem Hills and uh, yeah the guy offered him $200 less than the asking price David snatched it up and he drove the car home so it is no more I said, I mean, he got, I would say, probably about $1,500 more than I thought he would get for it. So, yeah, so that's all done and dusted. So my car went bye-bye. Ellie was going cuckoo for a Cocoa Puffs while he was out there by my car because, you know, Ellie... It's like, mm, you get away from our car. She was whining and carrying on and, oh my goodness. So she has not been in the new car yet. So here's my next story. So she sheds something awful and she sheds even more when she's in the car. She loves to go, but she's a nervous Nellie. Now, during the summer, she does not go with me unless she has to go to the vet or to the groomer. And so I'm, my son and I were thinking of how can she ride in the car and we can reduce the dog hair flying all over the place and her being a nervous Nelly because she, when I leave her in the car, she goes from this front seat to the back seat, down on the floorboards. And um, she would sit in the driver's seat, or the driver's seat, the passenger seat in the front, that was her space, but then something would make her nervous. She'd get down underneath the floorboards or she'd get in the back underneath the floorboards she's just all over the place and my car was small where David's is bigger which will be a good thing but anyway um, and ac actually it's not safe for her to be in the car like that, not buckled in or whatever. Um, and I have had barriers up before to keep her in the back. That did not work out. She is an escape artist because she gets nervous and yeah, she'll tear down the back barriers. She is strong, let me tell you. And so I thought, well, I'm going to go see if they have some kind of invention for her and she could ride in the back, you know, in the middle seat. And I know her good enough. There is nothing on the market that she would not be able to get out of. So... I know what you're thinking, and that's where I'm going. So then my next brilliant idea 
is to crater. She has never been crated before. So this is going to be a new experience. So today I'm going to have my son help me shop for a crate that will work for her. And she's just going to, she, you got to realize that during the summer she does not go with me unless it's to the vet or the groomer because it's too hot for her to be in the car um you know while I do all my running around when I do it because it's one day a month I do all my running around I get things done and then I'm home that's it done and dusted um and so she sits in the car and waits for me and it just gets too hot in the car. I could invest in one of those uh, portable um, uh, air conditioners, but people around here are nosy rosy. <clears throat> and they would see a car, a dog in a car on a hot day, and they would call the police, and then the police would break into your car, only to find out that you have an AC in there. Yeah, happens all the time. Guess I could put a notice on the car that says, This dog has AC. Do not call the police. So, anyway, um, so anyway, that's what I've decided to do. So, we're going to be shopping around. For one of those and there's you know not a big hurry um, I think I have found one on Amazon that I think would be perfect it, that she would not be able to escape from but I just need to run it by my son so because I don't have visionary talent so he would be able to look at it make sure that it would fit in the car and that um, you know it would be what my idea is. He can take my ideas and run with them. He knows what I want. He's really good at that. I think I need a new um, thingy on here. So I'm going to take this off. It's getting to be bent up. Take all the tips off of the pink pens and I put them in this nice little jewelry container. <laughs> Find one that, oh, first one. How about that? The first one fits in there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I got this. I don't know. I've had this for a long time. I don't know what, what I got. Who gave it to me or nothing. Okay. And usually on these tips, 
because I got so many of them, you know, I'm not stingy with them. So, change them out whenever I think they need it. Okay. Um, so that's my story on that. So yesterday was, I didn't get the things done that I was kind of, sort of wanting to get done. And I mean, I got a lot done yesterday, but I just didn't get everything done. So today I'm going to go out and weed whack on the other side of the driveway. I need to do that. And then I'm going to give the cottage a good vacuuming. And yeah, my favorite job, mopping. And it's supposed to be... I'm not for sure. Hey, Google. How warm is it supposed to get today in Fahrenheit? The high temperature in Salem today will be 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that is going to be perfect for mopping today because it'll dry really fast. Now, I have my mop is the electric mop where it heats up. Yeah, I don't know what you call them, but that's what I use. Does a really good job. So, um, that is my two goals today. Oh, plus, you know, having my son help me with um, picking out a Um, uh, I can't think of the name of it. Carrier thing for Ellie. So yeah, she won't like it, but she can get used to it in the summertime. So what I'm once I get it, what we'll do is I'll put her in it, and we'll just take some a drive. You know, where I don't have to get out of the car. She can just know that this is her space. And I'll make it comfy for her. She'll have her blankie in there and her uh, pacifiers. So that'll all be good because she leaves her little pacifiers in the car. And she lays on them, so... I'll just put those in there with her and yep, we'll see how she does. If my son thinks that'll work. The one I'm looking at actually is open so she can see out. You know, she won't be enclosed. So she can still see what's going on and plus I'll be able to have the windows down for her to get fresh air. So we'll see how all that goes. I have these brilliant ideas. They don't always work, but we'll see. I am just so proud of my son. I can't believe that he did all that work on the car and sold it actually in 20 minutes. I mean, that is just, I guess he had it priced to sell. Yeah, he's, I think he's pretty happy with everything. So, but he put a lot of work into that car detailing it.
And then our next dilemma, he called last night he called his insurance company and oh, okay, here's the next thing. So I would say on average, the most I drive per month, and this is on the high side, is 50 miles. Because I, once a month, I do my Lancaster run, go to the bank, go to the landlords, and I'm back home. Um, now, I may have a trip down to the groomers to get nails, but I haven't really been doing that. Um, I just have them trim her nails when she goes to the vet because it's less traumatic for her. Um, so, you know, occasionally we'll have, you know, an extra trip into the vet's office. I try to schedule her appointments around the first when I do my Lancaster run. <laughs> and that probably sounds retarded, but you know what? That's one less trip I have to make out. So, yeah, so we're talking, that's on the high end, um, 50 miles per month. So then the thing was, do I have full coverage on it or do I just put liability on it? So, and because nobody was driving it, he dropped the insurance um, and just had liability on it until my car sold and all that. And uh, so... Anyway, I chose to go ahead and have full coverage on it until it renews again in November, which canceling my insurance on my car and then adding that, it, it was $50 for the six months because we just renewed just renewed well the beginning of the month so um anyway um i just elected to do that so i said that gives me time to get used to the car because i've only driven it once and david was with me and we just drove down to get gas and back. So I drove it maybe 10 miles. Um, but I haven't driven it by myself. So. so now that my car is gone, it's forcing me to drive that one. Because I've been driving mine. And because I had a full tank of gas in it. <laughs> so, but now... When we sold it, it probably had three quarters of the tank of gas. So, what a bargain for him. And then, my new car, it has a full tank of gas because I did fill it up. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's my car experience. Boy, I've been talking forever on silly cars. 54 minutes? Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. That's it. We're done. <laughs> oh, and I'm talking about cars, and you're probably not even interested in it. So, okay, I am going to let you go. Um, I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day today. Uh, maybe you know a service person who had his life taken um, in the line of duty. 
and uh, he'll be thanking them for their ultimate sacrifice for our country. And, um, or maybe you'll just be with friends and having a barbecue today. So, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you're doing today or what you're working on. You know, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Give me your life story. Uh, send me those emails. It doesn't have to be what I'm working on. It can be anything. And, um... Yeah, um, doesn't even have to be diamond painting, <laughs> you know, because I am knitting. And let me show you my knitting project. This may look stupid, but you know what? It's just a fun project. And as you know, I ran out of yarn. And the only other color yarn I had was this black to go with this mog. And I haven't worked on it that much, but this is what it's looking like. So... This part, this mauve color, will be around the neck, and then this goes down the, the black, will be down the chest area. Yeah. So, you know, I don't care. I just like to knit. So, we'll see how that comes along. Um, and if you are not one of my friends, I'd love to have you as a friend. So hit that friend button, also known as subscribe. And next to the subscribe button is a little bell. And if you press on that bell, ding, 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 <clears throat> you can uh, press the all and that will notify you when my videos are up and running. So... Um, I appreciate everybody stopping by and listen to me, um, you know, just, uh, talk and talk and talk about a car. Um, <laughs> okay, thanks for stopping by and I will chat with you later.